a great proportion of Nottingham's history is forgotten or, or just simply not known about. The unfortunate thing with Nottingham is we lost the history. We had the developments in the 1960s where great parts of Nottingham was destroyed to make way for so-called modern development. You know, we lost areas like Maidmaring Way. We've lost places like Victoria Station, uh, which was, if it was left where it was now, it, it would be a beautiful station. Um, Jury Hill was demolished in the late 60s to make way for Broadmarsh Centre. And if that was left where it was now, it would rival the shambles in York. This part of Nottingham was the entrance to Sherwood Forest and, at a later date, it was a barren wasteland with gallows just at the top of the hill. We've just come through the gates of uh, Rock Cemetery, just off the Mansfield Road. If you picture this 100 years ago, the roadway would have been slightly higher than what it is now and by the gates you would have seen the town's gallows. So on that site, just outside the gates, would have been the gallows and the gibbet. Across the road would have been uh, open ground and open land which was once the site of a lost medieval village called Whitston. Well here we are at one of Nottingham's true hidden places and we're standing just in front of the famous Robin Hood cave complex which really go back quite a way into an, and under the city uh, and these caves being called Robin Hood Stable are actually mentioned in the mention in Robin Hood Ballads, uh, Will, Will, Will Stutley, who was one of Robin Hood's men, was uh, arrested by the Sheriff of Nottingham and he was going to be hung on the gallows where we were just previously and Robin Hood supposedly ran out from these caves here and rescued him from being hung. Where we're standing now, we're literally in front of the famous celebrities of Victorian Nottingham. Right in front of me here we have Thomas Adams, a bit further down we have Bowden, who owned rally and really this is what i call the rich and famous row of uh, nottingham celebrities well if you want to know more about the hidden places in the city then frank and joe's book secret nottingham is available now i think if people take the time out in their lives and just just take a casual walk around nottingham and say well i'm going to have a look around and see what what i can find i think then they'd be amazed at yeah. just what there is yeah. Georgiana Scurfield, Knott's TV News.